All right, you are back on the other side of the break here on Low Country Money Talk, and we have really had a lot of talk about money because there's a lot to talk about. Phil Boyd is here, of course, with Revolutionary Financial Group, walking us through some of the current events that are happening here mm -hmm. and, of course, abroad, and how that might affect you. And good news is, Phil, you're sharing with us some information on really how we can take steps mm -hmm. to making sure our financial picture is as healthy as it can be. Right. It's important. So you, we're finishing up on the first meeting still. So you came in, you brought these documents we mentioned before. What else was it we were supposed to bring? Yeah, so we mentioned three things. I gave you a nice little teaser if you're watching <laughs> us prior to the break. We've talked about bringing in your statements because you really need to see a clear mm -hmm. picture of everything that's on there. Your tax returns, of course, because taxes are a big picture of your financial plan. And then your estate documents. But you might be surprised to find out there's one more thing. And what is that one Probably more thing? Probably the most important thing is bring your spouse your spouse yeah. don't forget that yeah. important so let's sure. walk us through why that's so important well what i found over 30 years you know a, a lot of the uh men you know they have the john wayne i'm gonna leave the impression oh out. but he's so good <laughs> <laughs> but well, they want the john wayne tough approach i got this i've got a system i track this every day i got a spreadsheet okay all of this stuff uh, many times the spouse has no idea how their system is, doesn't want to know how their system is, just wants to make sure that they have enough money to last them. So what I say is we definitely need to bring the spouse in to lower uh, the stress because whether she shares it with you or not, she probably does, but why should she live her whole retirement worried about money and what happens to you? Because generally the male dies first and that's gonna leave her with, I don't know what he was doing, I don't know anything about his spreadsheets or anything else. That creates a lot of stress. It really can, yeah, absolutely. So that's important. So mm -hmm. as if that wouldn't be stressful enough of a life event dealing sure. with the passing of a spouse, here you are left maybe in the lurch financially, mm -hmm. not understanding right. the picture at all, or what to do next, or even what's available, mm -hmm. what assets there are to you. And it's very comforting when the spouse has been part of this whole planning process. And we're gonna, you know, typically people are gonna forget. But then I can chime in and say, remember, we did this for this. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah I remember. Oh, that's a lot of a load to take off of you. Right. You know? So I find that to be very important and we need that. Absolutely. Yeah. And just even feeling comfortable, you know, having a go-to person to, right. you know, really discuss those financial plans and what to do next. Well, what if you don't die? What if your male spouse is laid up for five or 10 years? Then what? Right. You know, because then he's not gonna be tinkering with that computer. What if he gets dementia? or right. something, okay? You don't want him playing with the computer and your finances. So all of these things in, in 30 years I've seen happen many times. So we need to develop that plan. We need these documents to come in. When we're finishing up that first meeting, I'm doing a lot of listening. And I'm like, what keeps you up at night? Uh, what are your main concerns? And I just sit back and listen. And if you listen, people will tell you a lot. That's right. Yeah, we <laughs> may have a lot to say, that's right? right? Well, yeah. that's interesting. So really what you're saying is you come in, you're, you know, you're going to do your, your little bit of back homework, gather your, your items, gather mm -hmm. your documents, right. bring your spouse. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you're listening and between the documents and what your potential clients are saying, that's going to give you enough information right. to go on for really what step two looks sure. like. So we're gathering the data. Uh, in the meeting one. You're telling me this is the way you want things, this is what you, the way you think you've got to where you are and all this, and I'm just taking pages of notes and listening and this and that. And we're gathering data for meeting number two. Yes, and one thing that I have learned from you in our time together, Phil, is that a lot of people have a grouping of financial products, as you put it, yeah. and that may be what some of the things mm -hmm. they're bringing to you, yeah. but not an actual retirement strategy. Right. And I'm guessing some of that comes in in the next meeting and discussions, mm -hmm. and guess what? We're gonna do that after this break. Stick with us. Mm -hmm. 